Hello, it's Nurhan Aliyan, and in this presentation, I'm going to talk about I Loved You by Alexander Pushkin. I loved you. I loved you, and I probably still do. And for a while, the feeling may remain, but let my love no longer trouble you. I do not wish to cause you any pain. I loved you, in the hopelessness I knew, the jealousy, the shyness, though in vain, made up a love so tender and so true, as may God grant you to be loved again. Alexander Pushkin was a Russian poet, playwright, and a novelist of the Romantic era who is considered by many to be the greatest Russian poet and the founder of modern Russian literature. I Loved You was written in 1829 and published in 1830. It is an eight-line poem that was originally written in Russian. It has been described as the quintessential statement of the theme of lost love in Russian poetry, and also an example of Pushkin's respectful attitude towards women. So the poem is a simple but effective poem in which the speaker, the poet, expresses his devotion and respect for a woman he loved. In this presentation, I am going to explain how. The poem has been described as the quintessential statement of the theme of lost love in Russian poetry and also an example of Pushkin's respectful attitude towards women, as I mentioned before. Um, so, the poet nowhere in the poem is seen cursing his lover or cursing his love to her. He acknowledges his inability to reveal his love. Also, uh, the poem is a kind of interior monologue that reveals the thoughts of the poet about his lost love. As we can see, the opening lines... Uh, de declared that he had loved a lady, but the identity of the lady is not revealed, as he said, I loved you. Um, anywhere in the small poem, we cannot see uh, the, the poet cursing her, his beloved or his love to her. Uh, he then reveals that he still loves her, as he said, and I probably still do. Um... He is saying his past beloved that despite the end of whatever relationship they had, he still maintains some love in his heart for her. So this is not something that makes him sad, nor should it make her sad. Um, the poet never revealed his love to the lady and calls his love affair as silent. As he said, he was hopeless and tempted to tell her that he loves her, yet he loved her so deeply and tenderly. Um, as we can see, towards the end of the poem, we find him praying to God to grant her a loving husband or a lover who would love her sincerely like he did, as he said, as may God grant you to be loved again. Um, uh, he was not confident and called himself hopeless and tempted. Even though he is in a state of utter despair, he never wanted to cause any distress to her. Um, so he is selfless in his love to her and he prays for her happiness. That all means uh, he is only telling her so that she knows the of his affection he lists out some of the many ways he has loved her from uh, jealousy to hopelessly uh, hopelessly the poem concludes with the speaker telling the woman that he hopes that God grants her another man to love her in the same way he did in the same way 
again and that's all how we can know how the speaker or the poet expresses his devotion and respect for a woman he loved thank you for listening and for watching goodbye